Have you ever heard a high stakes legal battle that involves billions of dollars in allegations of deceit and manipulation? Well, get ready for a story that will leave the roadhead loss on the edge of your seat. And a shocking turn of events, the FTX bankruptcy estate led by CEO John J. Ray III has filed a lawsuit against Bybit, its investment arm, Marana, and several executives. The goal? To recover funds and digital assets that Bybit allegedly withdrew from FTX just before its collapse, with an estimated value of nearly $1 billion. According to the lawsuit, Bybit used its privileged VIP access and close ties with FTX staff to orchestrate a cunning plan. They allegedly withdrew substantial amounts of cash and digital assets from Marana, Time Research, another entity linked to Bybit and executives right before FTX's downfall. Is that 65 FTX? Is that 65% is individual on the power and 65 FTX tends to tend to see VI settlement team went to great lengths to prioritize Marana's withdrawals, resulting in over 327 million being transferred to them. The total value of assets withdrawn by BIT and its executives from FTX has now reportedly reached almost $1 billion. Uh, but the plot thickens. The lawsuit claims that Bybit has imposed uh, limitations on the FTX estate, preventing the withdrawal of assets exceeding $125 million on the Bybit exchange. Allegedly, Bybit Tussles is using these assets as leverage to seek recovery for a remaining balance of $20 million that it could not withdraw from FTX before its collapse. As if that wasn't enough, the lawsuit reveals a shocking revelation. In October 2021, a Bybit executive privately disclosed to FTX that the company controlled BitDAO, now known as a mantle, despite presenting it as a decentralized organization. Then in May 2023, Bybit approached the FTX bankruptcy estate with a proposal to reverse the transaction. However, the value of the Bit tokens, approximately $50 million, far exceeded the value of the FTT tokens, approximately $4 million at the time. When FTX rejected this illogical proposal, BitDAO swiftly rebranded his mantle and introduced MNT tokens for bit holders to convert at a one-to-one -one ratio. But just as FTX began to the conversion process, BitDAO allegedly disabled it and held a community vote to restrict FTX from converting its tokens. FTX argued that this action violated the automatic stay in Chapter 11 bankruptcy. However, the community vote passed with votes seemingly linked to Bybit executives. Interestingly, the fifth largest voter came from a wallet identified as Marana Ventures, a Marana subsidiary led by David Toe. Uh, now, the legal action is seeking uh, compensatory and punitive damages from Bybit. Uh, for its alleged involvement in the token scheme and the assets held on its platform. It's a battle that will undoubtedly have far-reaching consequences for both parties involved. And now, for a lighthearted moment, amidst all of this legal drama, why did the cryptocurrency go to therapy? Because it had too many issues to hash out. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.